Welcome back to Mount Panorama as we welcome the Bridgestone Holden Precision Driving. The build-up continues in preparation for the great race of 84, the James Hardy 1000. Here they come, along pit straight. The handbrake turn, and in reverse they go. Lloyd Robertson leads the way. Well, actually, he's at the tail of the field. Oh, spectacular. Lloyd Robertson leads the way, followed by Rod Browning, Dennis Frawley, and Dave Shannon. The car's in close formation as they pull on those handbrakes. They were doing 80 Ks there. It's an interesting way to warm up your tyres, Gary. Perhaps Maybe tell us, and James Hardy might do it the same way. Now, here they come, reversing back. No, they're not. I thought they were reversing lights. I wish they'd take that red stuff off the front in the diamond formation. Now, have a look at this. You know, there's only a centimetre between the guards on these cars at times. They're so close. Five-litre Commodore V8s. Getting ready to hit this ramp. Right at the start of the grid positions. Looks like their suspension's in order, Gary. Yeah, I'll tell you what, a few times through the, uh, the dipper would take care of that, I'd say. Now the team will position themselves for the double-file formation. Now you're about to witness the very spectacular, in single file, ramp to ramp jump. Lloyd Robertson will jump a 10 metre gap when they hit this double ramp. And I tell you, be ready for it because your heart will be in your mouth. Coming back along the straight just to give the fans a good look at the cars. Lead driver Lloyd Robertson is 37 years old. Ron Browning is 33. Dave Shannon is the baby of the team. He's just 29. And Dennis Frawley, 32. All very experienced in motor racing. Okay, the single ramp is removed from the track. That leaves just the double ramp. And here comes Lloyd Robertson, team leader. Guns the big engine. Hits the double ramp. Up and over. Ten metres, that gap between the ramps. Now it comes back. Towards the uh, remaining trio. Bridgestone team. They're all going to have a go at this double ramp. If the boss can do it, so can they. <laughs> he wants all the run-up he can get. Precision driving team. Oh, two wheels. I've seen this in a commercial somewhere. This is Dave Shannon on two wheels. He might get a start up here in the motorbike Grand Prix if he keeps this up. It's probably a specification somewhere that won't allow him. if they ever fall over. He's just on standard tyres. The car isn't weighted or ballasted in any special way. It's just his own driving skill that allows him to do that. I want to try that. Hello, he's in the sand pit, is he? No, stop just short. Try 
I thought once you get outside the gate. So the <laughs> yes, it's really not to be done by the public, is it? It's nice to watch, but you really shouldn't try it yourself. A give way to the right. <laughs> Farmer Joe on the way to the markets. Got a bit of a fright there. Okay, Dave Shannon has discarded. <laughs> discarded the car. Ooh. Well, well, what a big finish. It scared me for a minute. The Bridgestone, Holden Precision Driving Team. Oh, I thought he'd done an engine. It sounded that way, didn't it? But no. They all look shipshape and they make their way off. Lloyd Robertson, the leader of the team, we mentioned he was very experienced in motor racing. He's been in the game for about 20 years. He competed in his first car rally when he was just 17 and did that in a VW. It's great to, to see, isn't it, under controlled uh, conditions, that kind of driving display. Imagine what you've got to, to look forward to uh, when the flag drops 